I'm going to talk about what a marijuana health impact assessment is in the state of Vermont and what the health impact assessment process looks like, um, what would happen to the prevalence of marijuana use if Vermont regulated marijuana. So that's really, that's the key question and I'll talk about why that's a really hard question to answer. The next one is traffic safety. Um, so this is a big one, uh, it's getting a lot of attention and the third one is about uh, mental health. Uh, next is what might change in other substance use disorders um, and substance uh, use disorder treatment. So that's really asking the question, if uh, prevalence changes, what will happen with treatment and, and dependence in Vermont? As you can see, um, all of the directions were worse. Um, so this is for use. Uh, note that it's not for legalization so or regulation. So this is not about if we regulate, then all these things will get worse. It's if somebody uses, if the population uses, then overall the health outcome on the left-hand side there will get worse. Impact of marijuana use on uh, youth. So we broke out youth here, again, because in health impact, we want to try to look at separate um, populations. And obviously youth are a different uh, type of population than adults in, in the case of marijuana use. Future dependence and academic performance are both worse. Um, and there is very strong evidence to support that. And one of the big questions is whether or not um, folks who use marijuana use less alcohol. Um, and it's sort of all over the map right now. Uh, there is youth access. We know that youth access will probably um, be greater. So worse is a funny term in this case because we think that youth, uh, based on the research, youth will probably gain more access to marijuana if it is regulated in the state. Um, and youth use, there's too little research and there's too little data, so we can't say much about that quite yet. Um, and what we're starting on right now is trying to take Vermont data and actually estimate the numbers from the literature and from what we know from the science. There are some really, really big question marks in, in doing that, and the critical unknowns are the age at which consumers begin using, so will that go down, will that go up? We don't know that. The number of consumers, that's just the prevalence, that's probably the number you think of the most um, if you're thinking about it. The number of days each consumer uses, the number of times a day they use, and then the potency of each dose. Um, so all of those are very variable and we don't have them pinned down. Vermont does have higher rates than the rest of the country. So you can see this is past year marijuana use. This is again by age group. So on the left you have 18 to 25 year olds and on the right you have 26 plus. Um, and the green is Vermont and the black is the US. So you can see that Vermont has a substantially higher past year marijuana use rate than, than the United States. 